Hello! Many of you have asked if I could do a DIY inspired by the book and movie The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Before making this video, I wanted to either read the book or see the movie. I've been listening to Audible lately, so I decided to listen to the book. There won't be any spoilers in this video, but I will say that the book is well written and I appreciate how honest the story and the characters were. I totally recommend this book and if you haven't read it yet, Audible has an offer where you can get your first audiobook for free along with a free month of membership. Just go to audible.com slash lemon to get that offer or you can check out the link in the description to audible.com slash lemon. For this project, the dialogue between the characters inspired me to make these DIY chalkboard notebooks, which you can write your favorite quotes on the cover or on the inside pages. First, I'll show you how to make the easier one of the two. For a complete list of the supplies I'll be using and links to where you can find them, see the description below. With this notebook, I'm taking inspiration from the book cover and I'm going to paint it a light blue with acrylic paint. To protect the pages on the inside, I'm going to put a piece of paper below the cover, and I don't want to paint the spine, so I'm taping that off. Then start painting the cover. If you already have chalkboard paint that is in the color that you want it to be, you can go ahead and use that. Or if you're like me and you only have acrylics, I will show you how to make the entire surface chalkboard texture in just a bit. After the first coat is dry, you can go ahead and put another coat on if you need to, and then let the whole thing dry. For the cloud shape, I'm going to reference the book cover and just draw a cloud on this index card to make into a template. Cut it out, and then bring it back to the dry cover and trace on the cloud shapes. Then I'm filling in the white cloud with acrylic paint. And while you're waiting for the first coat to dry, it's a good idea to wash your brushes. Once that's dry, add a second coat if it needs one and then repeat the step with the black cloud on top. After that's dry, I'm going to paint on this clear chalkboard coating so that the entire cover is a chalkboard. But you can also make this cover out of paper or paint on a permanent design. I put two coats of this paint on and according to the instructions, you have to let it dry for 24 hours before drawing on it. The next day, it's time to season the chalkboard, which is just grabbing a white piece of chalk and rubbing it all throughout the cover, both directions, and then wiping it off. Then grab some chalk and write on the cover. Okay, now on to the next notebook. I'm using about 50 4x6 index cards for the inside pages. Then using the template that I already made, I'm tracing out the shape onto an index card, then using that to cut out a stack of three index cards at a time. And just repeat this to cut out as many index cards as you'd like to put into your notebook. Then for the covers, I'm using this chipboard. Trace the template on and cut it out. And if you need to clean up some of the edges, you can use an X-Acto blade. Keep in mind that these clouds don't have to be perfect. If you look at the book cover, the clouds are actually imperfect. Now, with the same steps as the last notebook, I'm going to paint the covers with the black paint and the white paint. If you don't want to take the extra time to paint both covers, you can actually just use one cover for this book, or you can just paint one side if you prefer. It's totally up to you. Now to make these covers chalkboard, I'm going to paint it with the same clear chalkboard paint. And of course, you don't have to do this step if your paint is already chalkboard paint. After the paint is dry, I'm going to season the covers just like I did in the last notebook. Now for the binding, which will hold all the clouds together, I'm using a book ring. And if you want to know where you can find some of these, I will put a link in the description below. To make the holes, you can either use a hole punch or a Japanese screw punch which I'm going to use. And if you want to learn more about this tool, you can check out this video here. First, I'm going to make a template of where I want the binding hole to be, and then punch through about four pages at a time. After all the pages are done, I'm going to use the template to punch a hole in the covers. And if you're using a screw punch, this might take a couple of goes, but it will eventually go through. Then we can finally stack everything onto the book ring, close it up, now you have a cloud-shaped notebook which you can write on with chalk, and since the clouds are kind of like the dialogue between the characters in the book, 
You could try making the one side full of quotes that were said by Gus, and if you flip it around, you can make the other side full of quotes from Hazel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to share project pictures with me, go ahead and follow me on my social links. For more DIY projects, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel, Sea Lemon. I'd also love to read in the comments what you think about The Fault in Our Stars, and what are your favorite quotes from the book. If you want to jump into another project, check out one of these tutorials here. You can also find more information and all of the links in the video description below.